Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find vendor transactions. Typically, this means an expense, but it could also mean a bill, a bill payment, a vendor credit, that sort of thing. There's a handful of ways to go about this. So let's start by going to expenses and we'll just click on expenses. When you click on expenses, you have these four tabs across the top of your screen. The first are your expense transactions. This is just a list of all your transactions from, in my case, the last 365 days. I can sort it by type if I want to group up my purchase orders, my bills, my credit cards, all that good stuff. I can sort by amount if I've been referencing an amount. I can sort by payee, the person who's getting the money. The category, you get the idea. I can perform batch actions, so I can select a handful of these things, choose batch actions. Well, it won't let me do it because this third one is a split. Let me undo that. Then I could categorize. So if both of these things needed to go to a different category, I could quickly categorize them by clicking category selected. Picking the new category I would prefer to have it as, choose apply. It updates those things that I selected. While this is a handy way to get here and to look at expenses, I never do. And next I want to show you the bills tab. So to get there, we click on bills and then we have unpaid bills. These are the bills we've entered into QuickBooks, but have not yet paid. The paid bills. These are the bills we've paid. I just want to be really clear. This is the bill and bill pay feature within QuickBooks. This has nothing to do with your expenses. You know that I have had more than one payment uh, in my QuickBooks because I make these videos all the time. So this is just when I use the bill and bill pay feature. The next tab is my vendors tab. This is a list of all of the people that I've given money to. Correction, people or companies that I've given money to. Then I have my contractors. This is my list of contractors. I really don't ever use this screen because I don't pay anybody with direct deposit out of QuickBooks. Um, I personally use Relay for all of my contractor payments. I just ACH it over, easy peasy. Works like a charm for me. If you wanted to add a transaction for a vendor, you can come over here to the right hand side, click on new transaction, add whatever related transaction. What I will typically do if I need to add an expense or some sort of vendor record is I'm going to do that from the banking screen. I almost never enter stuff by hand. So I'll go to banking and then banking. I'll select the account that I want to work on. So for this example, we'll say we're working on the PayPal account. And let's say I wanted to record this one transaction for Clever Bridge. So I, I pick Clever Bridge. I'm going to pick my expense as office expenses. And then I'll select add on the right hand side. I'll just show you real quick how it shows up. If we go to expenses, we go to vendors, we find clever bridge, go over here to transaction list. There's my transaction. So this was just a tutorial to show you what's hidden behind expenses, what the tabs are just briefly, how to add stuff manually. If you wanted to, how I add stuff and then how to look and make sure that the stuff you added really did go into QuickBooks as you expected. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's anything my team or I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much and have a great day.